Hey everybody, I hope you're all happy and well. We tried to have a Bible study last week, but we had some trouble with Zoom, so we ended up having a really small uh, Bible study. So this week, we're going to go back to the regular lesson. If you're interested in doing an online Bible study during the week, just leave it in the comments below and we'll look into that. It looks like we might be able to start having regular church services again by July 5th, but things are always changing, so uh, I'll keep you updated on that. This week, I want to talk about worship and what it really is. We often think of worship as singing songs and praising God, and those are definitely worship, but there's more to it. Worship is actively doing something that brings honor to God. What brings God honor? Well, obedience, putting him first, loving people, taking care of others, praising him for who he is and what he's done for us. In the book of Luke, we get a good look at what worship looks like. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster jar of perfume. As she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair. She kissed them and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what kind of woman she is, that she is a sinner. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back, so he forgave the debts of both. Now which man will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. You have judged correctly, Jesus said. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house, and you did not give me any water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman for the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven, as her great love has shown. But whoever who has been forgiven little loves little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. There are a couple of important things to note here. First, the woman recognized her sin and her need to seek out and find Jesus. We need to understand that we're sinful people and the only one who can save us is Jesus. The second thing she did was she ignored everyone else in the room who was judging her for her sins. So many times we miss opportunities to worship because we're afraid of being mocked by others for our faults. The third thing she did was to humble herself by cleaning and kissing Jesus' feet. Now, closed-toed shoes, they weren't really Jesus' thing. In fact, most people went around in sandals all day and they didn't bathe every day like we do either. So that means people's feet were smelly and disgusting. But she, she cleaned his feet with her hair and she kissed them repeatedly. She wasn't worried about what the other people in the room were thinking or how gross it may have been. She was only focused on Jesus. Number four, she sacrificed something valuable to her to please Jesus. Now that perfume that she poured on Jesus' feet, it was rare and very valuable. It was the sort of thing that people really wouldn't want to part with. But part of her worship was to sacrifice something that she valued that would bring Jesus honor. Think about the things that you value. Your time, your comfort, your convenience, your social status your possessions, your money, whatever it is. Could any of those things be used to bring honor to God? If so, that would be an act of worship. So take some time this week to worship God in a new way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.